guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I thought about doing something a little bit different just sit down in my living room and chit chat with you guys about some little drama that I've seen lately and I thought it was a little bit important to talk about that and since it revolves around my day-to-day -day job I thought hey why not do a video and clarify everything for you guys the drama revolves around Tati Westbrook glam life guru here on YouTube and I've been her subscriber for quite a few years now and actually really really love what she does she posts every single day not every single day but five times a week from Monday to Friday which is honestly a lot of work and I'm really really impressed with her and she does a thorough review every time so I actually really really love what she does as a youtuber when she announced that she was coming up with her own brand I was so 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 excited and I don't think I speak only for myself when I say that I was actually expecting makeup or skincare because that's what she does for a living she reviews makeup and skincare products and she's really really good at it so I was actually expecting makeup and I thought oh my god this is going to be a bomb because she knows what she's talking about she's been doing this for seven years now from Monday to Friday she's seen a lot a lot of makeup products so I know it's gonna be good I was actually really really surprised when she announced that her product was not going to be makeup a palette or anything is was going to be vitamins and my jaw dropped and I have to say that as a scientist, if you guys don't know, I actually have a bachelor in pharmacology and a postgraduate diploma in drugs development with a specialty in regulatory affairs. So as a scientist, I was a little bit disappointed. I don't have any problems with people taking vitamins. The issue that I have is that we don't have a lot of clinical trials or peer-reviewed articles on the internet that I can read that show me the evidence that vitamins actually work. And it's the same thing with natural health products. So as a scientist, I was surprised and disappointed at the same time, but I thought, oh my God, if she's doing that, she probably, probably believes in her product a lot because it's a risky product to come out as your first line of product. Makeup, people like it, people don't like it, and even then when people don't like it, people can be really mad about it. With vitamins, it's actually worse. For a lot of people, vitamins won't even work. For some people, they won't even see a difference when they take the vitamins, and then you can get complaints, people won't be satisfied with it, so it's a risky product to come out with. And since it's her brand, it's her first product, I was actually surprised that she came out with that. So my belief is that she really, really has to believe in her product to bring this out, which is totally fine with me. But I've seen a lot of people commenting on her video and on other people's video about the fact that what she's doing, I mean, it's almost illegal because she making claims or all of that and how come it's not FDA approved. Well, I'm here to demystify some of these issues for you guys. Like I said in the beginning of my video, I've been doing this as my day-to-day -day job for several years now. I have a postgraduate diploma especially in regulatory affairs. So I know all about FDA regulation, Health Canada regulation, European regulation, and all of that. But most importantly, I know how to interpret this regulation. It's easy for everyone to just bring out an FDA guidance, Health Canada guidance, FDA website, whatever, and read, and then tell people, see, it's written on the website that it has to be this and that, so it's illegal. Well, let me tell you, regulation are a little bit trickier than that. Yes, you have to be able to read the regulation online, but you also have to understand what it means. Because in the industry, and I'm not talking only about like pharmaceutical industry, but most importantly, NHP, so natural health product and vitamins, they have ways to go around the regulation 
and not be illegal. You cannot just read something online and say that is that. That's not how it works. Let's talk about the regulation overall, just a brief overview. And I won't go into every details because it would take five videos or this with videos would be like two hours long and I won't do that, okay? Just to let you know overall is vitamins are not regulated by the FDA. A lot of people ask, why is this not approved by the FDA, blah, 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 does it mean that it's not safe? Well, let me tell you, FDA stands for Food and Drug Administration, so they do not regulate vitamins because vitamins are considered dietary supplements. So FDA are not allowed to evaluate the safety or effectiveness of dietary supplements. They are regulated under another set of regulation, but of course it is way more or less strict than your typical drug regulation. For drugs, you have to prove the safety and effectiveness of your product before you sell it on a market. It's mandatory, you have to. So you have to do clinical trials, a lot of clinical trials. You have to do clinical trials in healthy volunteers. You have to do clinical trials in sick people, sick patients. And you also have to do clinical trials after your product is approved to make sure that throughout the life cycle of your product, your drug is still safe and it's still works. FDA is really, really strict about it and you cannot say whatever you want on your label. You cannot say whatever you want on a commercial that you see on TV or in a magazine or whatever. It's really regulated. With natural health products and vitamins, they do not have the same regulations. For vitamins, for example, the company that manufacture the vitamins have to prove that their product and the ingredients in the product are safe for consumers. However, they are not required to prove that it works. I'm not saying that Tati's product doesn't work. I do not know because I haven't seen the clinical trials that she made. So I cannot say if her product works or not. But I'm saying in the regulation, she's not required to prove that her product works. But she's required to prove that her product is safe for consumers. However, that doesn't mean that every consumer can take the vitamins. The vitamin itself, the product that she sells, is safe. However, when combined with other drugs, other vitamins, or other natural health products, we do not know if her product interacts with anything else. With drugs, you have to do what is called drug interaction studies. So you actually have to prove that your drug interacts or not with other drugs. With natural health products and vitamins, this is not a requirement. It's so, so important if you're gonna take vitamins and not only tatty vitamins, but any vitamins or natural health care products on the market to talk about that with your healthcare professional, your pharmacist or your physician, especially if you're taking any other drugs or any other vitamins, or if you have problems with your kidneys. A lot of drugs, products, or vitamins are processed by your kidneys. So if you have problems with them, talk to your healthcare professional. A lot of consumer think that it's not important to talk about that with their healthcare professional because they are natural, products and vitamins so there's nothing to worry about but it's false it's not because it is a natural product that it's necessarily good for you and cannot do you any harm it's not true you can always interact with other drugs that you're taking tati products for example has biotin in it and biotin can actually change your laboratory results if you go to a hospital and have some tests done on you a lot of those tests use a biotin as a base and if you're already taking a product with biotin in it it can change modify 
and falsify the results of your laboratory test. On her Snapchat, she actually said that they were not FDA approved because she couldn't, and that is totally true. Vitamins are not regulated by the FDA. Another thing that I saw people argue with me on the internet is that she made claims on her bottle that were drug claims which honestly I don't think it's true. Vitamins are not allowed to make claims that cure, treat, or prevent any disease. Vitamins cannot make disease claims and it has to be disease related claims. It's written in bold in the regulation. So if you reduce the fine lines on your face is not a disease per se as per the regulation. But there's a difference between when I say remove wrinkles and reduce the appearance of fine lines or reduce the visible signs of aging. Those two sentences are different from remove wrinkles. They cannot make claims that will alter or change the structure of an organ or a body. For example, the skin. So when I say remove wrinkles, I'm actually saying that I am modifying the actual structure of the skin because you have wrinkles on your skin, on your face, and that is totally, totally normal. But if a product claims that it totally removes the wrinkles from your face, then you're actually saying that it modifies the structure of my skin to actually really smooth out my skin. And basically, that's what Botox does. And Botox is FDA approved and Botox as a drug. The difference when I say reduce fine lines is I'm not saying that it modifies the structure of my skin. It's just the appearance that changes, the appearance of my skin, the appearance of fine lines changes. So there's a subtlety to understand there with the regulation. And natural health products, cosmetics products, and vitamins are very, very good at juggling with the words that they can use on their labels and in the commercials. They are very good at it. Now, I know Lancome and Avon and whatever have received FDA warning letters and I went on the internet and I read them. And of course, if you read them, you then understand why they receive FDA warning letters. Lancome, for example, said that it was actually improving skin regeneration or cell regeneration and boost a skin cell activity or anything like that. Of course, they are saying that they are modifying the function, the structure of your skin and the cell function, which is totally not allowed. On Tati labels, she said, I think improve fine lines or something like that. I mean, it's obvious that she asked people and she used the knowledge of people to write her label to make sure that anything she said was not illegal. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is how she managed her launch of her product. And I think a lot of people are actually angry. And for a reason, I think that in her launch video, she, I don't know if it was voluntary or not, but she didn't address the concerns and issues that her subscribers had. And there were genuine concerns. People with concerns about, you know, can I take this while I'm breastfeeding or if I'm pregnant or can I use this with other drugs or whatever. And these are genuine concerns. She should have had a healthcare professional with her in that launch video. She said that she's working with a team of scientists, a team of chemists, a team of healthcare professionals, nutritionists, and well, why didn't you bring one of them with you in your first video? They could have talked about what is in the product, what it does, how it works, the warnings and precaution associated with your product, if you have any concern, who to talk to. I mean, any of that, that was not talked about. And then she went on Snapchat to address some of the concerns. Snapchat, out of her 4 million subscribers, I'm pretty sure that not all of them follow her on Snapchat, me included. If I hadn't seen her Snapchat on one of the drama channel, I never would have 
known that she actually addressed some of the concerns of her subscribers. That's totally unacceptable for me. Coming out with a vitamin, something that people ingest and could have interaction or warnings associated to the product and you're going on Snapchat. As a CEO and a founder of a company, you should have went on every single social media platform that you know of and talk about the concerns and then make a freaking ask question section on your website and talk about the concerns. Not wait like three days after and go on snapchat and then talk about a few concerns and a few issues so i sound really pissed but i just think that it was very irresponsible from her to do that type of launch uh, for her product and it's the first product from her brand it's so important that people have a good impression of her brand because she will bring out some new products but people will only remember the bad things so i honestly thought that she handled that in not the best of ways and i think Thing that I understand why people are mad about it. I love Tati. I love what she does. I really, really honestly hope that she will come out with other products that I will buy, that I will be able to buy because I won't buy her vitamins. But if you are going to buy it, I don't have anything against that. But just be sure to talk to your healthcare professional before doing that. But again, I really support Tati. I'm still a subscriber. I still support her and I will still be supporting her. I really feel bad honestly for her and how her product was received and perceived by her audience and I hope that her brand will last because I know she works so hard and she looks like a genuine honest person so I just wish her the best. I mean lessons learned right? You, you bring out your first product, you see how it goes and then you make the changes required after that and that's just life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long ass video, but I just thought it was so important to clarify all of the things for you guys. By the way, sorry if my voice sounded nasal throughout the video. I have a flu for the past week now. It's almost been seven days. I'm still, I'm still really well clogged. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write them in the comments down below. In the meantime, Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!